The January transfer window is about to open, but one player who could be staying put is Newcastle striker Demba Barr. The Senegalese has been constantly linked with a move away from St James's Park and has a £7 million release clause in his contract, which is set to activate. Barr reportedly held talks with Chelsea on Sunday, but they were said to be unproductive. That means his future, at least in the short term, could lie at Newcastle, where he is the top scorer this season with 13 goals. Well, I think the, the situation with that is that it's getting close to the point where we say no more, um, you know, but um, the offer is still there. Another manager hoping to hold on to all of his players is Roberto Mancini. The Manchester City boss has a host of injury worries and he's set to lose Ivory Coast brothers Yaya and Colo Toure for a month when the Africa Cup of Nations begins next week. Sami Nasri will be missing for the next three matches after his red card at Norwich on Saturday. And that means Mancini won't be letting anyone leave the Etihad in January. Oh, no, we can't sell that players. We can't. We don't have players enough to play if we sell the players. Arsenal ruled out making a bid for Barr last week, but have reportedly tabled a £10 million offer for Atletico Madrid striker Adrian Lopez. The Gunners made a failed attempt to sign the 24-year-old in the off-season, but have returned with a new offer for the player who scored 19 goals in all competitions last season. In Italy, Milan appears set to lose striker Alexandra Pato, who is on the verge of a return to home soil with Brazilian side Corinthians. A combination of injuries and poor form have seen Pato score just six goals in 25 appearances for Milan in the last 18 months. He will return to Brazil with an eye on recapturing his best form and earning a spot at the 2014 World Cup in his home country.